to you have to go through this go through that go through this go through you understand uh, uh, no their laws are so stringent like there's no breaking there's no shitting bag bongo bongo give your life to christ give your life to jesus jesus is coming soon give your life and be saved when you give your life and be saved in this place you will see yourself in jail baby girl for life i'm a 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 baby girl for life hello guys welcome back to my channel are you seeing this face for the first time welcome take care are you a gang member welcome how on a day so guys today i don't want to talk about this, since this video today let's go straight to the point okay <laughs> so guys in today's video um if you have watched my last video if you have not i'm going to leave it in the description box i share the things i love about this beautiful place that i live in and now i'm going to share the things that i don't like about this place so if that's something you would love to hear please keep watching okay okay like a cricket sound okay that's how crickets but <laughs> well guys so um the first thing i don't like about this place is nobody told me how horrible the weather is <sighs> the weather here is horrible if you watch my vlogs i'm sure you must have seen my skin how bad my face like my face especially how bad my face is the weather here is horrible like when it's hot it's extremely hot it's hot and humid like steamy i don't know how to describe it and it causes damage it even makes some people sick when it's windy it's overly windy when it's raining it's all like it's so messy and i feel like this place is so artificial they mess with the way the clouds the way they like they just do so many annoying things to it that makes it really uncomfortable for you to like you cannot just except for those who really love love like maybe those who live in extremely cold place they will enjoy living here but for us africans like us it's a very horrible weather for us like you cannot just wake up now and say you want to take a walk around after 11 after 12 who born you you cannot bear it if you even faint before you walk 10 minutes here on the ground it's such a horrible weather here like the weather condition here is horrible that's one number two again nobody told me that this place is unnecessarily expensive yes like why so expensive why i know it's a fancy and luxurious place and all that but i think that we can still have all we want here and it will not be too expensive like sometimes when you want to even pay for taxi if you convert it to your nigerian money i know we shouldn't be converting but it's really expensive to live here it's really expensive like i feel like the cost of living in this place not i feel like the cost of living in this place is not commensurate to their minimum wage so the minimum wage here is about four thousand something and some companies don't even pay that amount so they need a follow up and i don't like the fact that it's not like they are abroad abroad kind of payment like they don't pay you weekly or pay you daily or pay you every two weeks you have to wait for every month's end to so why am i not in the abroad if when if they cannot be paying me two two weeks or you know how the real abroad things is you know understand me okay so that's another point another thing again i don't like about this place is wait i wrote it let me check my notes i wrote this one Um, okay you know how that you come to like well when my sister just moved to the u.s she said that when she got there she started to work you know like all those the uh, under table jobs you know like part-time jobs you get a better job you cannot find it here you cannot find it here you cannot find all those daily paid jobs you cannot find it here I beg if you are living in UAE and you have found it, tell me because I've been searching for the past one year. I do not see it. You cannot get jobs that you will just say, okay, let me just do this job, na na na, and they will just pay me sharp sharp. 
Like in Nigeria now, you can go to where they are building a house. You can just go and do bricklayer work. They will pay you that day, that day. But this place, no go see them. Like everything is registered. If you want to, you have to go through this, go through that, go through this, go through. You understand? Uh, uh, no. Their laws are so stringent. Like there's no breaking, there's no shifting grants. Now like this, now like this. It's favorable in a way, but in another way, it's no, 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 no work. Kole work. Another thing is, you know. I'm a Jesus girl and as a believer like from back home like this where we have church programs we can shout the way we like you know that 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 freedom of just shouting the way you like you don't have it here in church you don't have it here when we're doing service we're in a closed place though it's not like you'll be uncomfortable there's AC, there's everything, but everything is toned down, you know, because you don't want to, and it's in a hotel, you don't want to stop with the gas to the building, you know, and then you cannot just go and go and do evangelism. It's not allowed. You know how you don't wake up and be hitting bed, bongo, bongo, give your life to Christ, give your life to Jesus, Jesus is coming soon, give your life and be saved. When you give your life and be saved in this place, you will see yourself. Oh, <laughs> That's one thing. Like that freedom of practice. You can practice your religion, no? You can pray, you can do anything. But to see that other perks of being a believer that you cannot do like this, you don't be saying, ah, I'm winning so. You are your winning so. You are your winning so. You cannot win so like that by shouting and ringing. Give your life to Jesus. <laughs> you go see yourself on jello. Yeah. So um the thing is the accommodation palava. Kill uh kill kill a kilo 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 apple. Let me speak your last one. Like you just take one small room like this. Small room like this room that you cannot even turn away. Though your tea be of 200,000 naira. <sighs> At the end of the day, you'll be asking yourself, is this thing really worth it? Like, it's a studio, it's a studio. Studio is room that you have, we used to call it one room. Uh, self contained in Ninja, now with the color. Like, the room, the bathroom, the ki kitchen, everything is inside, eh? Do you say it be depending on the location? Do you see a furnished one? You are looking at 400,000 naira. Waiting, waiting. They have not even calculated bills, though. There were all those internet, all those things. You have not. No, 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 no. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. This place is too cost. It's too expensive. Like, when we're moving to a place, we're looking at the, 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 the perks of okay, you're weighing it like how much am I going to earn? How much can I save? How much can I send back home? What and what can I do? I know that um, people will say hey, if you get a good job, it's, but I still feel like it's unnecessarily expensive. Like I cannot even lie. The place is so expensive that like so many of my colleagues, all of them they always complain and say, ah, oh I'm not even able to save. I'm not even. so those words are even earning far far more than me but they still have complaints before you pay for your rent pay for your cost of going to work every day and um, pay for feeding you will eat now before you not think of to save you go still buy clothes sometimes you know bye bye spirits will come you want to buy you cannot just indulge and then i feel like the malls the shops they are so expensive my, my one of my friends went to turkey and then she came back she was saying ah that she thought that things were cheap in Dubai. So now I'm asking myself that how do people from Nigeria come here to buy things and then they go back to sell it? How are they making their profits? I know they say, oh, they buy it in sales. But what of the flight tickets? What of the, you know, the accommodation that you paid? How do they calculate it and put inside the things that they are selling? Me or more, I don't understand. The place is expensive. Like, guys, I cannot even miss what people know that I don't so. I don't so say what I don't know. This place is expensive. If you have been here before, you will know. Come, drop a comment in the comment section. This place is unnecessarily expensive. I, I want to say it louder and louder 
and louder and louder and louder. Ah, oh, my goodness. So guys, I want you to put you guys to tell me in the comment section what do you think? Like, have you visited this place before? And what do you think about the cost of living here? Do you think is anyway? I, I, these things are relative. We get some point who come now, they, as in you know, go shake them. They, they carry them with their chest. You understand? Uh -huh. So I want to hear from you guys. You guys tell me in the comment section what do you think about this place and. Do you agree with me that the cost of living in this place is really expensive? And what are the things that you don't like about this place? Obviously, I know that I've not touched everything, but I'd love to hear from you. Let us rub minds together. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. Uh, I want to say a very big thank you as usual for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for all the love in my last video. God bless you. And uh, this is the end of the video. Have a great day, guys. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah.